Tonight, the White House vehemently defending, asking the FBI to deny reports of communications between Trump campaign associates and Russians known to U.S. intelligence. The administration's intense pushback follows CNN's exclusive reporting of the White House request. Senior administration officials insisting it only asked for the denial after a top FBI official himself volunteered that the New York Times story on those communications was inaccurate. White House officials, who asked not to be named, today outlined their timeline of events, saying the conversation happened on February 15th, after a 7.30 a.m. meeting led by White House Chief of Staff Reince Priebus. FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe asked Priebus for five minutes alone after the meeting ends. This according to senior administration officials and called the reports linking Trump campaign advisors to Russia, quote, total BS. Priebus, the White House says, asked McCabe, quote, can we do anything about it and whether there is something the FBI can do to, quote, set the record straight. Later, in separate conversations, McCabe and FBI Director James Comey tell Priebus the FBI cannot comment on the reports. Priebus then asks Comey if he can cite McCabe and Comey as, quote, top intelligence officials in pushing back on the story himself in TV interviews last Sunday, which he did. I've talked to the top levels of the intelligence community, and they've assured me that that New York Times story was grossly overstated and inaccurate and totally wrong. The direct communications between the White House and the FBI were unusual because of decade-old restrictions on such contacts concerning pending investigations. You don't want to even want the appearance of political influence with respect to an investigation or prosecution. That's, that's why the protocols are in place. President Trump on Friday ranted against the leaks that have plagued his administration, making a case reporters should only use named sources, even as White House officials spoke to reporters asking not to be named. I'm against the people that make up stories and make up sources. They shouldn't be allowed to use sources unless they use somebody's name. Let their name be put out there. Let their name be put out. A source says that Donald Trump is a horrible, horrible human being. Let him say it to my face. Mr. Trump also criticized the FBI directly, tweeting, quote, the FBI is totally unable to stop the national security leakers that have permeated our government for a long time. They can't even find the leakers within the FBI itself. Classified information is being given to media that could have a devastating effect on U.S. Find now. We learned today that at Friday's briefing to members of the intelligence committees, both the Senate and the House, a congressional source tells CNN that FBI Director James Comey did not dismiss the existence of any communications between Russians and Trump advisors. Fact is, the FBI is still investigating the significance of these contacts, as are the House and Senate intelligence committees. So when Reince Priebus there makes that broader denial that there's nothing to these reports whatsoever of communications, that contradicts the fact that there are, in fact, ongoing investigations, FBI and two on the Hill as well.